but rather say it where you can hear it. So, yep, alhamdulillah, let us all not feel shy. And a lot of time, a person will know that this is the sunnah, but because everybody abandoned it, he will feel shy to be the only one doing it. As if you were doing it because other people are doing it. Now you go to a place or you find an individual, nobody is making their dhikr loud. You know that's from the sunnah and you, you, you want to keep it quiet. Perhaps you would have said loud, you could educate them. Perhaps the hadith didn't reach them. Or perhaps you have those who know it and they are weak in their, yeah, in their ways. If they hear somebody raising their voice, they will end up raising their voice. And by the time you know, this sunnah will be established. So let us all aid one another to establish this sunnah in this masjid. Alhamdulillah. Yes, you have some brothers that jazahumullah khairan after the salah. You hear them from the astaghfar, from the takbirat. All of them, they will be say it. Whereas, alhamdulillah, you can hear them. So for those who used to say it to themselves, I mean, or quietly like this, but rather, barakallah fikum, let us establish the sunnah. Because one of the characteristics of the masajid of the sunnah is that the sunnah is being revived in it. That's one of the characteristics of it. And alhamdulillah, perhaps we should, we should aid one another because we can forget. So when we make in the dhikr, inshallah ta'ala, maybe we can remind one another. Right? A brother might be saying a little kind of to himself, you know, poke him. And then, you know what I'm saying, say it loud a little bit. So perhaps he will say it loud. So for those who say that, okay, you're disturbing others, right? This is, that doesn't hold no water. What will disturb others is if there was only one voice. Because if everybody is saying it, you will not, everybody is saying something different, then this is not going to disturb you, barakallah feekum, as Shia Uthamin mentioned. But if only one is doing it, then barak, if a person, one person raises his voice, this will be a disturbance for others. But even at that time, he has to say it loud because it is upon the sunnah. It is from the sunnah. <laughs> you raise your hand, yeah. The who? Honey, vibration. Or oh, the bees. <coughs> honey vibration. Okay, get your English right. Honey vibration. What's that? Or oh, the bees. Oh, yeah. Barakallah. Yes. Other brother reminded us, like the Hazrat Ibn Abbas in Sahihul. In what book is it? Sahih Bukhari. Bismillah. Barakallah. But he mentioned another point. Oh, yes, Adam. Allah <coughs> yubarak feek. No, 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 no. Only the quls. Only the mu'awwidha ta'ini. Tayyip. So he mentioned, barakallah feekum. And he say, la yakunu bi sawtin Jama'i. It is not to be a single voice, meaning of a congregational voice, right? There is no adhkar that the in the Quran in, found in the Quran in the Sunnah where it is to be done in congregation, right? And that knock off right away the adhkar of the Sufi when they all circumambulate upon there, upon there. What you call that? Huh? Yeah, whatever they call it. The white cloth, right? They, they circumambulate upon that, right? And they'll be doing this adhkar. Right? And they'll be doing that with one voice. It will be a leader. It's like an orchestra. It will be a leader. And you have others following it. Just the same thing that the church be doing. Don't the church, they have this, uh, what you call that? Uh, uh, the choir, barakallah fikum. Same thing. And that shows you how the Sufi resemble, right? Be to the, the, the Christians. I'm not saying they Christians, but they resemble them. And as the ulama have mentioned this. So therefore, it is not to be done 
in a unison voice. It is not to be done in a unison voice. But rather everybody will be making their dhikr on their own selves. وَإِنَّمَا يُرْفَعْ بِهِ كُلَّ وَاحِدْ صَوْتُهُ مُنْفَرِدًا But rather everybody will raise their voice on their own. So inshallah ta'ala let us, let us implement this sunnah more. Let us implement this sunnah more in here. Alhamdulillah. Tayyip, if a brother next to you, Alhamdulillah, is not doing it, Alhamdulillah, you know, remind him. Right? Remind him. And also, we, you know, we, 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 we aid one another upon this barakallah fi. The Shahafidahu Allah Ta'ala, he mentioned another important point. He said, وَيَسْتَعِينَ Tayyip, and the person, he is aiding himself by way of the counting of the tahlilat and the counting or the numbers of the tasbih, the adad tasbih, wa tahmeed, wa takbir, by way of the finger tips or the finger marks that's how you call it right the finger marks right here the lines that are on the fingers because this is hakada min af'al nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam so not to be using barakallahu fikum the dhikr bees not to be using the dhikr bees because there is no nothing from the sunnah that says that the companion or the tabi'een or the atba tabi'een they use the dhikr bees Nothing like this, but rather the dhikr bees originated from the from the Christians with their rosary. The Christians they have this rosary, and what is sad is you find Muslims wearing that rosary. When that time it was in, right, a few years ago, right, when everybody was wearing like this this rosary, it's like this 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 cross that they have, and it has beads around it. Now that's what the Christians they used to count their prayers. Now you find Muslim Barakallah Fikum either buying it or, or wearing it or selling it. Now selling a cross or wearing a cross. Certain things Barakallah it is from the Sha'air of the disbelievers. Just like certain things it is from the open signs of a of a believer of the of Islam. Certain other things they are from the open signs of the disbelievers. Whether they are from the from the mushriks or from the from the kuffar from the kafirs. <coughs> <coughs> so he mentioned he said because of the asabir, because of the fingers, he say Mas'ulatun they will be asked and they will be speaking Yawm al Qiyamati. They will be asked, and he say, Mustanbiqatun, and they will be speaking Yawm al Qiyamati. They will be speaking Yawm al Qiyamati, as the Shaykh Hafizahullah mentioned. So, yep, and they will be bearing witness for that the person used to use his fingers to remember Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. But not the Dikabis. Hadith did not say the Dikabis. So there is no asal barakallah fikum in the religion in regard to using isti'malu al 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 tasbah how you call it al tasabih how you call it dhikr bis al masbaha how you call it masbaha yeah masbaha the 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 bees the dhikr bees so the shahafidahullah he mentioned
The Shah Hafizah Allah he mentioned now. This is exactly the next point right here. What you said is exactly the next point right here. So yep. You follow it? <laughs> okay, I'm gonna wait till you come, inshallah. <laughs> huh? Yeah, let's wait till he come. Bismillah. He said if a person cannot keep up with his counting. Right? He is, let's say, old. He cannot keep up with his counting. Can, is there any other means that he can use to, 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 to count? Are you? I'm going to just say it. Maybe he can hear. The Shahafidahu Allah Ta'ala, he say, he say, well, you bah. And it is yani, permissible <coughs> to use the beads or some type of counting methods. But at a condition min ghayri i'tiqad anna fiha fadila. He say without having the belief that these methods that you're counting with, whether it is the bees and the likes, it has a virtue in it. It is it is special. It is something that is that has a that has some good in itself. That itself, the bees itself, is something that is virtuous. Right. So that he mentioned also. وَكَرِهَهَا And some of the ulama they dislike it. They dislike it totally. Using the tasbih. He says some of the scholars they dislike it completely. And alhamdulillah Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala he says فَاتَّقُوا اللَّهَ مَا اسْتَطَعْتُمْ The person he is having uh, any memory issues Allah will not hold him accountable for that which he doesn't have control over. Right? Alhamdulillah, you have numbers that are simple that a person perhaps can keep up with. Let's say 10. You do 2 for every finger, it is 10. Alright? Or you do 1 for every finger because they ask Shaykh Fawzan Hafizahullah about using both hands for the adhkar. He said, yes, it is permissible. But using the right is better. Now ten, ten is easy. A person can count ten. Subhanallah. 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 Can count, count ten like this, right? So he say here an important question. I mean, issue that he mentioned. He saying, "Wa ini atqada anna laha." If the person now he believe. That this dhikr bees has a virtue in itself. He say, فَاتِّخَاذُهَا bid'ah. Taking it will be now an innovation. If he believes that it is a virtue in it, now it's going to be an innovation. And do you know one thing that they teach Ani? Before they utilize a dhikr bees, they have to go to their sheikh first. For the sheikh to take the dhikr bees and to recite whatever he recite and give it to them. So now that the dhikr bees has a, I mean something that is, that is special, that's the word. Something that is very special. That's why they will spray it. And I'm going to tell you another thing.